Welcome to the second week of your Girl Scout Leader Wellness Training. This training video focuses on providing opportunities for physical activity during your troop meetings. We know that kids should get at least 60 minutes of physical activity every day, but unfortunately most do not. Only 27% of youth get the recommended amount, and girls have even lower physical activity levels than boys. Since you meet with your girls regularly, it would be great if your meeting could provide opportunities for them to be active and give them an opportunity to meet this daily goal. Not only is it good for their health, but the girls can be more focused, less disruptive, and the meeting can be more engaging and fun if physical activity is incorporated. As a troop leader myself, I completely understand that there are some barriers to offering physical activity during the meetings. One of the biggest challenges that leaders face is lack of time. There are many other activities that you want to get through with your girls, so adding in physical activity can seem like a lot. Let's work through this issue by thinking of ways to add physical activity that don't take away from other planned items. A big key is to remember the time before and after the meeting. Think of your typical pre-meeting routine and how activity may be incorporated into this time. Many troop leaders like to have some activities planned for the girls to do when they get dropped off. Turning on music and letting the girls dance, or setting up a small obstacle course or balloon game can all be fun ways to add some activity without taking away from the meeting time. Also be aware of ways to incorporate movement into things already planned. A lot of leaders have found that adding a stretching session into their group sharing time or sharing circle works well. Using relay races, group walk and talks, and simply removing the chairs from the room are easy ways to get things moving. Remember that all physical activity counts and that meeting your goal can be accomplished by offering a few small breaks during the meeting. While it's important to get through your planned activities, it can be just as important to make sure the girls have fun, are engaged, and are learning healthy behaviors that they will carry with them. An important point to remember is that Girl Scouts should be girl-led, so get them in on the planning. Our troop rotates girls each meeting to decide on the physical activity that will be offered. This takes the pressure off you as a troop leader and also gives the girls a chance to use their skills and lead their peers in an activity. I love doing physical activity because it makes me feel more energized and I love doing yoga because it makes me feel more stretched. This year, our cadet troop is working on the Amaze journey, and so what we're showing you right now is an example of how you can take a typical um, Girl Scout activity and incorporate some physical activity into it. So for example, they just took a friendship profile quiz, and as opposed to just having them sit at the table and complete their answers, we had them incorporate some physical activity like skipping and jumping across the room um, to provide their answers instead. So just always be aware and conscious of how you can try to add in a little bit of physical activity to things that you already have planned so that you're not taking up any of your troop meeting time. Right now, let's set a physical activity goal for your upcoming meeting. Think of the typical troop meeting and how much physical activity the girls usually get while they're there. When you set your goal, you could choose a goal of offering at least 10 minutes of physical activity, at least 15 minutes, at least 20 minutes, or you can decide what amount would be a good level to work toward. Write this goal down and keep it handy when you are planning your next meeting. Think of the activities discussed in this training video as well as some of the links provided and write down how you plan to meet this goal. Thanks for all that you do for your girls. Give physical activity a try at your next troop meeting. Remember that the girls look to you as a role model, so jump in and be active along with them. Making progress toward wellness can happen in small steps. And through this wellness training series, hopefully we can help you reach your health promotion goals. I love, I love Girl Scouts. Scouts.